But as you can see, I've got a mascot here. This is an owl that my dad carved. It's life-size owl. And you can see his eye. He's looking right at me. And as you move around, just let me try this. As you move around, you'll see that those eyes follow you. Uh, start over here. The eyes will follow you. <laughs> so he's always looking at you, no matter where you are. If you can see that. And uh, he has a, uh, a big old moth in his claw. So this is going to be one of my mascots. I do have another one. It's a... Uh, a little I don't have him out here at, in the van right now but he's a little teddy bear and his name is Power Saw and the reason his name is Power Saw is because <clears throat> at one time uh, I do geocaching not so much now anymore but I used to and my nickname or my handle in the geocaching world was uh, King Tut therefore my name of my channel King Tut and I live in my hut here um, so that's why I, I'm called King Tut Hut uh, as far as my channel goes and the little bear was uh, part of the geocaching world and we have a an event that we held here every year it was called the saw event the South Alberta uh, weekend and we held an event for uh, anybody that wanted to come and and do geocaching and get together and have a meal and talk and discuss things. And uh, the little bear was part of our little group. Uh, we named him Power Saw. And because of the, <laughs> he was a powerful little guy and it was the Saw, the Saw weekend. And uh, he's been to many events. And so I happen to ha have him and he'll be going along on the, on the road with me as one, another one of my mascots. So I'll have to show you a picture of him uh, once I get out onto the road here. We'll, we'll have a look at him also. So anyway, this is the van. And it's coming along perfectly. I've just got a few more small things to do uh, as far as maintenance goes and things. And other than that, the rest of it is just uh, putting everything in here. Uh, to see if what I can take along it fits and I'm just a little bit worried about uh, weight I'm I'm sure I'm gonna be overweight especially when I get the, uh, the water tanks at least at least even partially filled they're probably going to be um, I'm probably going to be quite heavy and I've got a, a weigh scale just out of town here where I can go and drive and, and weigh everything and I I think once I get I think a few things put in here tonight. I might take a trip out there and uh, do some more weighing. I, I did uh, one video a while back about uh, weighing, and I figured out how much I, I can actually have in here and how much I had at the time. And now with most of every the, the big things, anyways, that I have in here right now, with the most of the weight that I have, uh, we should be pretty close. I can I can say I'm probably going to have another hundred pounds or another couple hundred pounds. Maybe not quite. Uh, well, at least at least a hundred pounds of stuff that I'm going to put in here yet. And then my next video after this one will be when I'm fully on the road and fully living in my in my motorhome here. And uh, I can tell you how my first week is going to go. Hi guys. Okay, let's talk a little bit about what's going to be happening here in the next few days. Uh, today is April the 25th. Uh, it's a Wednesday. I've got Thursday, Friday left to go for work. Then I've got the weekend and then Monday is the 30th. And I'm going to go into work for half a day that day. Uh, they're going to have a, a going away or a retirement kind of a meal for me there so I'll take the rest of the day off so I can clean out my sticks and bricks house and uh, then I'll be moving into this full-time 
So what I've got so far here is my uh, <clears throat> my mascot, and let me just get up here for you. So I've got my mascot in here, a few things put up here, the microwave, uh, not so much as far as stuff in here yet. Uh, the back compartment is full of stuff in there. I've got some storage up in here. And all these are full of uh, boxes. I've got stuff in there. The TV's up. I have a, a, a brand new um, controller for the solar. I'm going to have to put it up in there. This one does work. But I happen to get a little better one and a better readout. Um, the sofa bed. And down there is a bunch of junk, but I've got it on top of my uh, generator. Up top here, I've got this full now, packed full of stuff. My foam for the bed. Uh, like I said, there's an instant pot. There's a toaster oven. And I've got a few other s s things up there for cameras and what have you. And uh, here's both of my mascots. I've got the owl. And here's my bear. His name is Power Saw. You guys can discover him on uh, geocaching.com if you're a geocacher. There's CBPYYC. And you can go and uh, discover him. He'll be traveling uh, with me. As, lo as well as this owl that my, my father carved. Uh, out of wood. It's a life-size owl. And I've got 90% of my stuff in here. All I've got left to put in is uh, some dishes, cooking utensils and stuff, and uh, groceries, uh, toiletries, and then not much after that. I'm pretty well all caught up and got everything put in. It's, um, it's coming along. So I'm uh, I'm ready to go, full time. Uh, so let me see. I've got two, three, four, five days. Five more days. And uh, like I said, I can remember when I was saying uh, four months, two months, one month, a couple of weeks, and now it's down to five days, one week, and uh, we'll be going full time. So in some ways, I can hardly wait. And in some ways, I'm a little nervous because I really don't know what to expect or how to how to go about this. Um, I, I, in the back of my mind, I've kind of got the feeling that it's like I'm going on a holiday as opposed to uh, going to be my lifestyle. And I, I don't want to be in a hurry in where I'm going. I need to take my time and, uh, like I said, treat this as my home. And uh, take my home wherever I wherever I go, turn the key and get in and drive and move, go wherever the sun shines. So uh, I need you guys to subscribe and follow along. Give me some pointers. Um, help me out on what to do. Um, I mean, I can I can show you what what I'm going to be cooking here, what I'm going to be doing. As, as far as my time goes, what, what I'm going to do with my time. Uh, I really want to visit the rest of Canada. And I'm going to start by going east first. I live in Alberta. So I'd, I'd like to go to the east coast, but I don't think I can make it there. And then turn around and come back to Alberta. And then head uh, to BC to, to winter. Um, because I want to take my time, I don't want to just run to the coast and uh, run back or go there and stay there for however long and then turn around and come back. And then I think I want to be in Alberta in September, October, and then head, head uh, west to the coast and winter either in Vancouver or on the island. Uh, I used to live in Vancouver at one point in time, so I know what to expect there. I know what the weather's like. I should be able to. I have. I follow some uh, some uh, van dwellers 
right now that are that stay in Vancouver year round they work and what have you and uh, so uh, like I follow uh, just incredible TV and I also follow um, several others uh, van city van life uh, I follow them there's there's a, a few others uh, so I take some pointers from them and uh, I'm gonna try to use use their uh, knowledge and and uh, go from there so uh, I mean I, I'm mostly on on computer YouTube and and uh, Facebook and Instagram and I don't do too much of the Instagram I do a little bit of Facebook but you can follow me on Instagram and follow me on uh, Facebook I don't think I have even anything up on Instagram at the moment I do have I think all of my videos up on Facebook uh, that will take you to YouTube so that you can uh, click on them and, and then watch them on YouTube uh, what else I have an email address that you can contact me on I have a my um, in the description I also have my uh, address if you ever want to uh, email or contact me or send me a letter or um, or or send me something or anything like that if you want to converse with me if you want to subscribe and you want to converse with me make sure that you uh, subscribe as a public otherwise I uh, I have no idea who is um, uh, subscribed to me I just see a number there that I have a, an, another subscriber I don't know who it is if you're private sorry I, I don't know who you are uh, when you comment yes then I can uh, probably uh, uh, converse with you that way you can send me a private message on one of my videos I explained how to do that I think you go to my channel and uh, mouse over um, info or, or or something uh, and 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 you can send a private message that way if you want to talk to me that way 